I'm here representing the Montana chapter of the Bureau of Misinformed Citizens. I would first like to commend Governor Schweitzer for his bold and steadfast commitment to the liberation of fossil fuels, which have for far too long suffered an unjust imprisonment in the deep, dark dungeons of the Earth's crust. Furthermore, on behalf of the Bureau, I would like to say that we are very impressed with the Governor's ability to convince the average folk that he supports clean and green energy, while at the same time promoting the mining of Otter Creek coal, which if burned would effectively double Montana's carbon footprint, completely nullifying any of the Governor's current or future clean energy initiatives. That is to say, we are very pleased that the Governor understands the difference between rhetoric and policy. As it is an important distinction that many people just cannot comprehend. We need leaders like you, Governor Schweitzer, public figures who hand out lies as if they were candy, to convince the ignorant masses that things like clean coal are not only real, but that they are the, our only hope if we wish to continue living such a dreamy, overconsumptive lifestyle. <laughs> While it may be true that an overwhelming majority of research climatologists and other scientists believe that we must drastically cut greenhouse gas emissions if we are to avert a total and irreversible global catastrophe, Governor Schweitzer understands that this is not as pressing an issue as economic growth. And we agree. I mean, we can always find a new Earth, but we will never be able to find a new economy. On a different but related note, we at the Bureau would like to thank Arch Cole for their commitment to valuing profits over people and the environment. If it weren't for Arch Cole, many a poor Appalachian would still be living on the same backwoods land that their parents, grandparents, or great-grandparents inhabited before them, and the carbon under their land would remain unexploited. Because of the tireless, self-interested work of Arch Cole and others, we have, wit we have witnessed an explosion, if you will, of mountaintop removal mining in Appalachia, which is destroying the most biodiverse temperate forest on the planet. A forest which captures vast amounts of carbon dioxide from the, from the air at this dangerous point in climate history when we are not only facing a scarcity of CO2 in the atmosphere, but a surplus of oxygen. The Bureau is overwhelmingly excited that this audacious company has offered to strip mine the last best place. As Montana citizens, we consider it a great honor that such an illustrious mega corporation as Arch wants to dig up our coal and ship it to China, where it can be burned without any regulatory rubbish such as clean air acts or carbon caps. As the prospect of national climate legislation threatens to limit greenhouse gas emissions in the United States, we are extremely impressed with Arch Coal's foresight and ingenuity in dealing with this problem, and we hope that the Land Board will help facilitate their success. In conclusion, we at the Bureau of Misinformed Citizens would like to encourage the members of the State Land Board to acquiesce to the demands of the ruthless corporations that keep the system running smoothly. In this specific case, we would, we would like to encourage the Board to give the, lease, to give the lease for the Otter Creek tracks to Arch Coal free of charge in hopes that the construction of the Tongue River Railroad and the mining of Otter Creek will open up the rest of the Northern Powder River Basin to future exploitation. We would also like to suggest that Denise Juno reconsider her opposition to leasing the tracks. It is our opinion that as Superintendent of Public Instruction, Denise Juno should ignore the outpouring of opposition to coal development expressed by Montana's high school students over the past few months. The youth of today simply cannot wrap their heads around the sublime logic of unchecked industrial development. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.